Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, as you can see, the long-awaited Caves and Cliffs update has arrived. So I'm really excited to get to play this today, as you can see the highlights of this release. There's three new mobs, the Goat, Axolotl, and Glow Squid. There's some new blocks like Copper, Amethyst, Powdered Snow, blah blah blah, and new achievements and a lot of bug fixes. So it's not necessarily the cave update of our dreams, because we don't actually get the cave features and we don't actually get the cliffs features, but I'm still really excited to play this. So yeah, this is gonna be my first time playing Caves and Cliffs 1.17, so yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna be playing on my survival Let's Play world because I believe in continuing worlds after updates. I don't believe in making a new world every update. So if you're wondering, yes, I am playing on the same world. The worlds are compatible as new updates come out, which is a very good thing that Minecraft does. And yeah, without any further ado, we can hop into the overworld here where I should be able to find some new chunks to explore as new features. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing right now is that uh, the game is super laggy. I don't know if that's a Switch thing or if that's a Minecraft thing or what, but as you could see, like my UI was having a real tough time struggling to get that, but anyways, uh, I'm going to quickly hop into the ocean here, just so I can see if I can find an axolotl or a glow squid. I know, I, I, I heard at least, that the spawn conditions for a glow squid is there has to be a block of stone within five blocks of it. I'm not sure if that's true, and actually, here's the first thing that we're going to see from 1.17, is new copper texture, er, sorry, new iron texture, and new coal texture. So that's interesting, we're not even in new chunks yet, we're already seeing some new stuff. I like that there are some things in this update that like you can see in your existing worlds, like the new texture changes, but uh, unfortunately I'm not seeing any axolotls or glow squids. I honestly don't know what the spawn conditions for an ax- oh, there we go, an axolotl, let's scoop him up in a bucket. We're not going to need this. Bucket are we? Haha, <laughs> we got him. Bucket of adult Lexus Oxlotl. Okay, so there are different kinds of axolotls, not just different colors. So that's that's good to know. But yeah, we've got our cute little buddy here, and I'm gonna keep him with me for the rest of this video. Hopefully I don't need that bucket of water. But yeah, we've got our little axolotl buddy here. Um I honestly don't care. Oh, there's some more axolotls. Oh, they're so cute. Like, this, this is my favorite feature of the update. Like, look how cute these guys are. You know what? Screw you, Drowned. I'm trying to enjoy the update. I'm trying to enjoy my axolotls. Like, just look how adorable they are. He's so cute. But anyways, let's get on to the actual caves and cliffs parts here. And I said that I was going to try and... Oh, whoops. I need that shulker box. I am, I am still noticing some lag. Um, yeah, so... Definitely some performance issues right now, so just imagine what those new cliff generations would do for uh, lag. But yeah, I'm going to go over this way because I think there should be some new caves over this way, hopefully. And I will let you guys know when I find something. I might also be able to find a geode underwater, but uh, that's not very likely. Okay, so I'm now in what I believe are unloaded chunks, so just quickly going to screenshot that so I know what coordinates to get back to and we're gonna look on this little landmass and see if we can find a new cave and yeah this is gonna be fair I'm, I'm really looking forward to it I know not a whole lot has changed like basically coppers changed and I think the other oh there's a village huh something actually we can get from this village is I know that you can trade for dripstone and moss blocks. A lot of that's with the wandering trader, but I think the ma the stonemason or whatever he's called, I think he trades dripstone with us. So that is something that we can benefit from. But uh, I'm actually going to leave this village for now because I just want to get straight into the caves. I don't want to spend any more time than I have to walking around the overworld. Oh, I was hoping that we had found our first cave, but uh, it's not an actual cave. I am going to mine this iron though. And if you mine it with a uh, not silk touch like I'm doing, you will get the raw block. That's something else that's changed that's 
really helped out Iron. Uh, I'm gonna go down this cave. I'm not sure. See, see, this is this is this is so laggy. This is just this is awful. There we go. Um, we're gonna see if we can find some copper in this cave. I think this should be. This should be an unloaded chunk, so. By the way, if you don't know, that's how they decide. If it's a chunk you loaded before the update, it'll have like the 1.16 generation. And if you loaded it after the update, it should have 1.17 generation. I think I've gone far enough that I should be in 1.17 territory here. But uh, I guess we'll find out. If I go like quite a ways down this cave and I haven't found any copper yet, I'm going to assume it was a loaded chunk and I just like accidentally visited close to here or something maybe I don't know I also like I've been following the snapshots and betas like I haven't played them myself but I've been following them pretty closely and I honestly still don't know what the spawn conditions of copper and all that is oh thought that was copper that's 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 the new gold texture right yeah it is okay so we did find some gold I feel like we should have found copper already if this is a new cave, but uh, we will keep looking for a little bit and maybe I'll cut and get back to you guys if I do find it. Oh, we found some more axolotls here. How cute. So they do spawn in caves in a very small amount of water, might I add. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're in a new chunk because like you guys already saw, I was able to find them in a chunk I had already visited in a previous video even and, and I'm really not finding any copper so I am really worried that this is still a loaded chunk for some reason so I've just come to the realization by the way here's the new lapis and new redstone textures but I have not been able to find any glow lichen either and I believe glow lichen should just spawn in all the new caves so the more I go through this cave the more I'm realizing it's probably an old cave, so I'm going to get this iron and get this lapis, and then I'm going to probably move out of here. I actually do really like the new ore textures though, by the way, like I think, I mean it's not the most exciting thing about the update, but uh, it is cool to see like different blocks having different textures instead of just all being the same thing with different colors. It's good for people who are colorblind, and it's just cool to see some more variety when you're mining, I guess. Okay, so I finally, I moved like a ways away further, and I think I found a ravine that has some 1.17 generation, because you can see there that looks to be glow lichen. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. We're gonna head down there, and hopefully we're gonna be able to find some copper, and an amethyst geode, and all that other good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna fly down here and got some more iron and I do want to get that glow lichen I don't know if I need shears or just we're gonna use shears just in case cuz I don't know for sure and okay we got it from the shears so that's good that's the second thing oh there we go there's some copper perfect 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 so I'm going to, I guess, mine down into that. And we're gonna grab us some copper that fell down. Well, we got one block of copper, two blocks of copper. So we did get some copper out of that. Um, there's some more. Again, I don't know what the spawn conditions for copper are. I don't know, like, I want to go deeper into this ravine and deep into this cave. I don't know if that's a good idea, if I'm looking for copper. Here. We're at the Y31 and there's still copper. So, you know, oh, I wasted copper. That's sad. Okay. Ooh, is that deep slate? It is deep slate, yay. Like, these are such small features, but I, I'm so excited for them. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to using all these new features. And we're gonna hop down here. I don't need a whole ton of glow lichen because uh, 
it is renewable. You can just bone meal it, but uh, I'll take like a half dozen or something. And this cave doesn't seem to continue any further, unfortunately. But I don't want to get rid of my axolotl. We're just gonna do that. Deep Slay Redstone is technically a new block as well, so I'm gonna take some of that. Take me some Deep Slate. Oh god. Maybe doing this near lava was not the best bet. And yay, some Deep Slate Iron too, nice. It's just fun to have all these new blocks. I I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna mine some more deep, some deep Slate here. And yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you guys in a while because I wanna mine like stacks of this stuff. So I was mining around in this coal vein because I wanted to see if maybe there was some uh, deep slate coal ore. It doesn't look like there is any, unfortunately, which, I mean, I don't know why. Maybe it's just an unlucky vein. But uh, I did find some tough blocks too, which is another one of the new blocks that I actually forgot about. So it's not very tough, actually, honestly. like It's like almost insta-mine. Oh jeez. Uh. Oh god. Okay. Well, that was a bad idea. But yeah, we're getting a whole lot of new blocks. Oh god, what? Did, how did you get in here? That was strange. Um. So we are full inventory, so we're gonna just. Oh, I did get one deep slate coal ore. I mean, better than nothing, I guess. I got a bunch of deep slate. Um, I'll throw my glow like in, I guess. I'm gonna have to be careful with inventory management because there's a lot of blocks I wanna bring home. And yeah, so we're gonna get out of this here now. I've got enough deep slate for now. I can always come back here if I want. And I mean like, oh God. It's not, Deep Slate isn't actually gonna be that rare. I'm just like looking for it because it's new and it's fun. But yeah, we're gonna fly out of here. And looks like there's another ravine right over here. We're gonna check this thing out and see if this may be, there's some more copper, so we'll apparently not get that. Yeah, we're gonna look around, and the main thing I want to find before the end of this video is a geode, because, like, that's the big thing that this update added, and yeah, I want to be able to find that. Okay, so I found an actual cave now, which means I should hopefully be able to find a geode. I don't know how rare they are. I know they're, like, somewhat rare at least, but, uh, yeah. We're gonna look around here, see if we can find, we're gonna pick up all the copper we can, all the deep slate ores we can, and hopefully find a geode in the process. And yeah, I'll probably cut in and out whenever I find something interesting, but uh, probably gonna be down here honestly for like hours, so yeah, don't wanna subject you guys to that whole thing. Um, I'll be recording the whole time though, so if you guys do wanna see an unedited version, like I can release that, but yeah. I'm gonna edit it down so it's like the highlights because I know it is the cave update but people still don't really want to see like hours of mining on end I would guess but yeah I'll let me guys know if you do want to see that because I do have the footage for it and we are finding quite a lot of coal or copper we've got almost a stack now which is good to see once we fortune this up when we get home like I should be able to get like nine stacks of copper which I like to see and yeah, I'm just, everything's real exciting so far. Something else I really like is that uh, like when you're in deep slate layer, you've got kind of like a mix of the deep slate ore and the regular ore. I mean, maybe it doesn't look the best sometimes like if it's completely surrounded by deep slate and then it's just like a regular ore, but I find it kind of cool. We're gonna take this redstone just because deep slate is new and I want deep slate ores. I haven't found anything resembling an amethyst geode yet, unfortunately, which is like that and axolotls are the two features I was most personally excited for. 
We found a lot of the ores. We found... I keep getting full inventory and it's getting really annoying. And yeah. The one bad thing about deep slate ores, I guess I will say, is that um, it clutters up your inventory because you've got two of the same ore, basically. So that's a little a, a little annoying, but uh, it's it's fine. It's not a huge deal. Ooh, deep slate copper. Honestly, I had heard that like a lot of these ores weren't getting deep slate variants, but I've seen deep slate copper. I've seen deep slate coal. Like, what else could possibly not have it besides maybe emeralds? I guess. Emeralds is the only one I can think of that won't have it at this point because I thought that maybe coal wasn't going to have it. I thought maybe copper wasn't going to have it. You know, I should really just be. It was a mistake to turn my bucket of my my water bucket into a bucket bucket of axolotl. God, I can't speak. It was a mistake to change my water bucket into a bucket of axolotl because it makes traversing these little areas very difficult. But nothing of value looks to be there anyways, so we're just going to move on to another segment of this very large cave. So I decided to switch my bucket of axolotl out for a water bucket. Don't worry, I've still got my little buddy here. But uh, I figured, you know, it's more important that I have, I'm able to traverse this area, so we'll throw him into my inventory. And you can just chill there while I use the actual important water bucket to traverse this lava because yeah I want to be able to traverse this stuff and it is a large pace to pray yeah, I can't talk today apparently it is a large price to pay to not be able to see my cute little axolotl at all times while I'm playing but you know it's a price I'm willing to pay in order to better explore this area Okay, so I just accidentally used my fortune pickaxe, but as you can see, we now get raw iron. And that's nice because it means fortune works on iron and gold and all that, and copper too, I believe. But yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Now it's just going to clutter my inventory even more, but whatever. It's fine. I'm not mad. Uh, I guess that gave me a chance to show... Oh god show off that new feature to you guys so yeah exciting new feature is i'm actually am really excited for raw gold and raw iron because it means you can get a lot more and it makes mining it a lot easier too so yeah i am happy about that it's just a little annoying that i accidentally did it and now it's using up an extra inventory spot so i've been walking around in circles now and i th i think it's safe to say i'm lost like I've got no clue where I am, or, well, I know where I am in regards to, like, I know this area, cute little axolotl again, by the way, um, but I have no clue how I'm supposed to get out of this area. So yeah, that is a issue that I don't know how to solve, I might just have to end up digging up which is never fun, but it looks like that may be what I have to do. <laughs> oh god, oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry, little guy. I meant to do this. It makes me so sad to hurt an axolotl. I'm sorry, little guy. Well, I didn't find the way out, but it appears I found a new section of cave to explore, so that's a positive, I guess. Still no sign of a geode though, and it's making me very sad. Oh, and there we go, we just found another massive cave by accident, so... It seems to be the strategy is just... Mine random blocks, and you'll eventually make it into a new cave. I, I mean, I guess that's a good enough strategy. Oh, Jesus. Like, this is so broken. This like, I don't know what's even happening. I thought I was going to be able to... Jesus. This stupid AI. Like, what is wrong with it? Like, what did they have to change? 
And I, I didn't mean AI, I meant to say UI. I believe that's what this is called, right? Like the, just that whole interface just doesn't make any sense. Oh, I have already been here. That's awkward. Ooh, I, did you guys just see that? It, it was definitely a glitch, but I see an amethyst geode up there. Like, I got like an x-ray glitch. And I know that's technically cheating, but I didn't do it on purpose. So I'm not gonna consider it cheating. So I'm gonna try and work my way over there and see if I can find it. Like, I saw the purple. So, there's an amethyst geode somewhere over this way. And we're gonna see if it'll work. Ooh, I did find diamonds, so uh, here is the new diamond texture. So I think I found all the ores now, right? Oh, seriously, one diamond? I've never seen them spawn that, like, low before. Huh. And if you don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm seeing if I can find that amethyst geode. It should link up to a cave somewhere. But I, I saw it on that x-ray. We're gonna head back into that cave because being actually inside of a cave is our best shot at finding a geode, not digging randomly. At least I don't think digging randomly will be a viable solution. It shouldn't be if it is because that takes out the fun of exploring in my opinion. But yeah, I guess we'll see. I've gotta find one eventually here, right? Ooh, look, dripstone. I found dripstone. That's exciting. Um, so I guess if searching for that image, amethyst geode like that taught me one thing, or got one good thing out for me, it's these new dripstone blocks. And god damn it, I'm already out of storage. Okay, so now we can pick up these guys. We've got our good old dripstone blocks. Uh, do I need so touch for this? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, did I get the point of dripstone? I did. Okay. I'm not sure what how the best way to make sure I get all these is. I think I'm just going to have to... Uh, can I just go like... Yeah, I can. Okay. So we're just going to go like that. We're going to grab all of this, actually because I don't know how common it is. And yeah, I want to be able to farm this because this is how we make infinite lava. Okay, so I got 17 point dripstone, 35 dripstone block. Uh, I'm gonna just say that that's good for now because I think I'm able to farm them. If I'm not, then uh, I've got this recorded so I know how to find it again. I'm sure it won't be that rare that I'll need to like search stuff up to find it, but yeah. I think I'm able to farm it. Like, I'm almost guaranteed sure that you can. Okay, you can make dripstone blocks out of dripstone, and dripstone grows, so yeah, it should all be farmable. So yeah, the amount I have right now should be sufficient for the time being. By the way, it looks like. I, I didn't actually look at the change log or anything, but it looks like they've changed the way andesite and diorite and all that spawn. Like it looks like it's in much bigger veins, which is nice. Because the only one I ever really want is andesite. So if I find a, a vein of andesite, it looks like it goes on forever. So that's, that, that's nice to know, at least. So I just mined like three pieces of copper with fortune and got 35 raw copper. Like it's insane how much copper you can get with fortune. Like I didn't mean to do that. I keep just grabbing the wrong pickaxe by accident, but it's interesting to find out. Like, I know you can get up to 12 with it. Like, that's just insane. And I, I guess you do need nine copper to make a block of copper, and like, I, it, it makes sense. It's just, it's just insane to think about, you know? Is this an amethyst? I think this is an amethyst geode. I didn't even realize it. Like, I, I thought this was deep slate, but I'm pretty sure this is the smooth it is. There we go. We found it. Yeah, that's smooth basalt. And smooth basalt is in amethyst geodes. So I found one. And just quickly before I forget, I'm going to mine this copper. 
Uh, but um, there we go. Uh, I want to be careful the way I mine into this because I want to like preserve his natural beauty or whatever. And yeah, that's the calcite block. such beautiful sounds like listen to those sounds there we go close that up and light this puppy up oh these things are these things are just so beautiful like oh, it's magnificent So yeah, this this is the thing I was looking most forward to in this update. I um, apologize, my dog just got off my bed, so that's a lot of noise. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. This is it's gonna be f fun to farm some crystals. Um, I don't know if any of these are full grown yet. I want to say that looks full grown. Whoops, just killed a bat. Um, Yeah, I got four crystal shards. Sorry, not crystals. So yeah, that one was full grown. That looks full grown. And we'll be able to make the actual amethyst blocks. And I'm really looking forward to using these blocks. I don't know what I can use them for quite yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to using them. Um, we're just going to see if this cave leads anywhere interesting. Doesn't look like it does. So yeah, I'm going to have to try and make this into like a Jeez. stupid thing we're gonna have to try and make this into a little base and yeah I'm, I'm really excited this is it, I mean it's not the best of updates but uh, like it's not the biggest of updates like the bulk of the actual interesting features are coming in 1.18 in uh, what was it they're coming in 1.18, which is coming in like December or something. So we are going to have to wait a while for like the actual caves and the actual cliffs. But for now, I mean, copper is interesting enough. Um, amethyst geodes are beautiful and cute little axolotls. I didn't see any glow squids today didn't see any goats today but uh, yeah this is just in like my first playthrough of 1.17 it did take me an hour and 23 minutes to find this that's including the intro time so probably and also like finding new chunks so I'm gonna say it took me about an hour to find an amethyst geode which I mean an hour to find like the main feature of this update and I've already experienced a lot of the update like I found the dripstone I didn't find any moss yet which I'm gonna have to find with a shipwreck or with a wandering trader but uh, yeah this is this is it for today I think I will probably do another video like very soon to get the achievements because there's three new achievements and yeah I'm probably gonna I'll do that soon. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are playing around with the update and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.